Good evening everybody, welcome to the Lizzie Curtis page, potentially, we might be there, we might not, we never know. <laughs> I'll check, I'll check the page. Uh, welcome to Making It Monday, this is Making It Monday number 826. What's the A, I hear you cry? That stands for Abby, no it doesn't, it's uh, for 2022. A is for 2022, obviously, of course it is. Right, two squares, one on top of the other. It's so funny because it's not like, I'm on my iPad, it's very different to what I'm looking at. I'm looking at it, it's turned sideways and only, basically all, all I can see is that. Uh, it matters not. Uh, so, square, gracious me, we're going to, um, stitch around the outside edge of this square but we're going to leave a gap for turning so we're going to leave about an inch for turning i like to give it a little mark right let's move all this gubbins out of the way right in there. honestly uh, me and technology at the moment it's not the best so i'm gonna have to just it's everything's gonna have to be on a slight delay when i move the camera because i can't see what you're looking at so once i move it i'm gonna have to wait a second for my ipad to catch up so that i can see what you're seeing oh there we go that's fine right so i'm gonna stitch around this you can pin this or clip this together whatevs whatever you want i'm just gonna hold it because i'm a rebel without a cause and I'm going to stitch this. I presume we're doing quarter of an inch seam allowance. Yeah, we must be. I've just got to move my foot a bit closer to me. Uh, right, let's get on with it. That, uh, that's never happened to me before. In all my years of doing Facebook Lives, that has never happened. It's because I'm on Mum's page. It's like, you're an impersonator. Well, I said on my little post about this live, it will have a few giggles anyway. Right. I've done a couple of back stitches on my turning gap. Um, no idea if you can see that. I'll stop going on about it because I'm sure it's very boring. Uh, right, so we've got our square. I've gone round, I've left a gap for turning. We're going to snip off our corners like a so. Ooh, there we go. Which is just going to make those corners a little bit better. Get rid of those. I know that you can see this whole table, so I'm going to try and just keep it on here for, for a minute or two. Right, then we're going to turn it through. Now, what we don't need to do is stitch up the turning gap. Where's my pokey tool? So that's quite good, isn't it? I, I like it if we don't have to stitch up a turning gap. Yeah, sorry if I'm back to front. I can't do anything about it. It's got a mind of its own. Literally nothing I can do. Right, just poking this through. There we go. I'm making this look a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Here we go and just a little bit of bolt caught up there. Right. Get in those corners. Beautiful. Beautiful. I didn't pick this one out. Okay. Good. Oh, 
I might just get my other tool and just get right in there very carefully, which I said yesterday when I was doing my live on my page and then I ripped through the fabric. So I will try and be careful. You never can tell. <laughs> right. Oh, I saw the, saw the top of the blue there. Right. So here we've got one of our squares. How many of these are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got another one here that I've got to turn through. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I've got. I'll just leave that one for now and I'll turn through this other one. Right, let's move you over here. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to press these. Press these. Gorgeous. Um, you can put some glue in this turning gap if you like. You could um, stitch the turning gap if you want to. But I would do like a ladder stitch so you don't see the stitches because um, really we don't want any top stitching on here because they it looks better without. Oh, you can see that. That's convenient. <laughs> right, so this is what we end up with. Little square. Can you even see that? Yeah. No, Sandra, uh, the mouse is a complete mystery. A complete mystery. Right, here we go. Let's follow the instructions. Let's get the pattern out. We've done that. Oh, we're putting these to one side for now. I'll put them to one side. And then we're getting our uh, outer and lining pieces, which we're going to... Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? I'm going to interface one, so on the reverse here. I'm working in a small area now because I know that you can see it. <laughs> I think if I move anything else, you won't be able to see it. So, interfacing. Let's get that on. Make sure it is on the reverse, yes. why don't you have some pre-made so we don't have to watch you faff about well, you can always go and watch someone else faff around you don't i'm not forcing you to stay and i do have some pre-made i've got f four others pre-made so you know behave um right interfacing this I mean, I could just have it all pre-made and not do a live at all. Right, interfacing. I always like to do it that way around first. I know mum does it the other way around first. I do it that way around first and then I flip it over and I do this side. Um, it, obviously, whatever works for you. Um, the other way works perfectly for mum and this way works vaguely okay for me. <laughs> so, each to their own. Right. So it says we need to, on both outer and lining piece, on both the outer and lining pieces, fold over a quarter of an inch on one of the short ends. So I shall do exactly that. If you've got one of the hot rulers, um, now where's my hot ruler? Actually, uh, Oh, I think it's in my Open Organised. Oh no, here we go. Actually, it was in my Morgan. I've got my Morgan from one of Mum's patterns that she made for me. Uh, these are the Prim Hot Irons. They're incredibly useful. Um, so you basically take it up, find your quarter of an inch, fold it over, and then you can um, press straight on the ruler and you're using this edge here to give yourself a really nice crisp edge which so it's very oh <laughs> she says as she moves it hold on I've, I've just got my iron caught there we go just give that a press 
Oh, someone's walking a doggy. Oh, two doggies. Oh, they're having a whale of a time. One of them's got a ball. The other one's got a massive tongue, like Labradors. Right, so there's that one. And look, look at that beautiful, let me bring it up. Well, I'll try and bring it up. Look how crisp and neat that turn is. Because I used that ruler. So we've done the outer and now we're going to do the lining. So turn over by quarter inch again. And also, if you do use a ruler like this, one of these hot, hot rulers, it's going to be exactly the same on both pieces. You know that you've got exactly the same size turn. It's not essential for the pattern. I will just say it's not essential. You don't, you don't need it. So don't worry about it. Don't, don't go in, out and spend uh, your money when it's not necessary. But these are useful. Um, I'm not plugging this in any way. I don't have them in my shop or anything like that. You can have a look on Amazon. Um, they might be there. Might, maybe mum will put them in her shop. So these are the prim heat iron, heat irons, prim hot irons. Let's get them in mum's shop. Yeah, mum, get on that, will you? <laughs> right, so we're putting them right sides together. It's very tricky to see which is the right side and which is the wrong side. And we're going, oh, I'm just making that. Oh, hold on. Yes, okay. I, I was thought I was jumping along there, but now I'm not. So put them together. And we're going to stitch from one folded end down, down the bottom and up the side. So the three edges, we're going to leave open the end that's got the folds. All right, and again, you can clip or pin. I might just clip this. Let's just clip this all the way around. Whoops. There we go, that, that'll do. So let's stitch this top to bottom. I'm gonna do a back stitch at the top here, uh, just because it will look nice and neat. There we go. My machine sounds clunky, it's not. It is literally, uh, let's just move you over a little bit more. It's literally because I'm, I'm only half above a leg on the table. Um, so it, it sort of wobbles the whole table when I do that. Oh, thank you, Gillian. Right, so along the one long side, lift the foot up, turn round. Go along the other, the bottom edge. There we go, and then up the other side. And you might be thinking to yourself, "Blimey, she's got the right, um, she's got the right thread on." Well, it's just that is literally. Um, a coincidence <laughs> it never happens so make sure when you're doing this this edge that you haven't flicked up that fold make sure they're both still folded down and then I'm going to do my back stitch again there we go lovely so let's bring you back to here. Sorry that I'm working in such a small area, but as as I, if you knew, you don't know, I can't see what you see. <laughs> it's all gone wrong and technically over here on my phone. Um, <laughs> so I'm just trying to work in a small area so I can sort of guess that you can see it. Um, right, turn through. <laughs> I'm gonna just uh, trim off these bottom corners. There we go, turn and bring through. Sorry, I know I've lifted that away, but I sometimes you have to do these things, don't you? You have to do it so it works for you. Oh, it's like a little nice little glove. <laughs> little lady glove, look. <laughs> right, where's my turning tool? Oh, I think the heat's getting to me. 
tell you what's funny is um so we all were roasting in the kitchen after having in the kitchen we weren't in the kitchen we're all roasting in the living room we've got a big fan on and we're all cooking and um i said right i better go and put a little bit of concealer under my eyes <laughs> to make myself look a bit alive went into the utility which is basically it's just a small downstairs toilet with a washing machine in it i had um it was so cold in there it was lovely my goodness me it was beautiful <laughs> so i called lily i said lily lily i said are you warm she's like yeah i said come here then and uh she was like wow it's lovely in here i was like i know because <laughs> i had the window open and the down uh the window opens up into the side passageway and it sort of was being a bit of a wind trap so all of that wind was going into the utility and making it really lovely and cold it was wonderful so i stood in there for a bit longer than necessary oh i've got a bit of dirt on my iron oh no mum that'll have to be the back no. <laughs> that's got to be the back ignore that right let's see what did she say now? Turns around, press. Well done. Okay. On each square, draw a line diagonally across. All right. Okie dokie. Where is my heat erasable? Mm, don't know. I've got this chalk. Oh, I've, got, I've got this chalk, this this will do. Uh, so on each square, draw a line diagonally across on the outer pocket piece. Okay, I've skipped ahead there. Let me draw my lines first. So diagonally across. There we go. So can you see that? So let's do that on all of them. This is chalk I'm using and it's um, a loose chalk so it will come off fairly easily so that's a blessing and a curse you do have to really be careful when you're then handling whatever's got that chalk on because it does just blow off um, but also that's why it's so good it's because it's a really fine line um, that does come off really easily There we go. <laughs> right, I'm going to pop my cord in. <laughs> She's going to be like, why did I do that? I'm just going to pop my cord in between the two layers. I am just going to come in uh, just less than half an inch, I guess. Look at my pin. Look at what I have to deal with. There we go. And then I'm going to top stitch that and that's it enclosed. Yes, sorry, I had a bit of a moment there. Use this lovely pin. Try not to stab myself with it. They're very long. Right, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to just top stitch along the top of there. Keep that in. I'm actually going to take that pin out now. problem is mum said to me well you could put that in there before you do this <laughs> right okay that's in we'll have it this way around because it's neater sorry about the mark muck there that's my own right so we've got that in so now we need to actually do it okay this is the top this is <coughs> that's that way up right okay got it sorry went on a little bit of a tangent there rightio on the outer pocket piece mark six inches down from the top edge from this point mark up quarter of an inch right i'm gonna have to try and do it with my oh no i've got my heat erasable what am i what am i playing at let's just make sure it's working it doesn't look like it wants to but it's, it is right uh six inches down i conveniently have a six inch ruler six inches down um, and then 
from this point mark up quarter an inch yes quarter an inch the six inch line is where you fold the pocket later perfect place the first two squares as shown so we need one square and two squares and they're just overlapping like that that's lovely isn't it that's gorgeous I'm going to pop a couple of pins in there that one I'm trying to be very careful to not rub off my chalk lines there we go so we've got our first two and we're going to sew across the lines and then we're going to fold them over so let's just do that that's going to be lovely I'll do a just a couple of stitches back stitch and I'll just hold this point I'm actually going to lift my foot up and just push that point down and then it should stay I didn't want to there so I'm just going to do it again there we go oh, 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 oh. go on doesn't like that my machine is being a little temperamental at the moment with uh, layers of fabric there we go did exactly that this morning when I was doing a live in one of my groups did exactly that okay so we've got that and then we oh, I just want to trim off that thread there we go I'm going to fold them down so they must be folded down at this stage okay gang must be folded down you could you could actually pop a, a pin in there if you wanted to just to keep them down um actually yes mum shows that in the pattern there's a there's a pin so that will do sort of sort of uh, done uh, oh press well oh, missed that bit missed the press well should have known I can hear her in my ear press well abigail press it well there we go pressed it well mum right <laughs> here we go there we go that'll do okay so place two squares one inch above the first square three quarters of an inch in from the side seams so the rows are slightly staggered inwards so we're measuring up one inch from here i'll just use my ruler as my guide and i'm going to stagger them closer together and they're going to go like that like that there we go isn't that gorge and then we're going to stitch across them as well so i wonder if i can get away with just one pin yes i think i can so we're going to stitch across them not right from corner to corner we're just going to stitch from here to here but i'm actually going to go that way so that it's, a, it's easier for my machine there we go a couple of little back stitches there there we go back we come take that pin out now put that in my collection <laughs> press this press this one as well I'll cut off all the threads afterwards give that a good press perfect Oh, there's a butterfly in here. Oh, it's trying to get out the window. Go to the other side, butterfly. Go to the other side. Oh, it's gorgeous, really dark coloured. It's not a moth before someone says, well, it's a moth. <laughs> it's not, it's a butterfly. Oh, it, it, do you know, I've never seen a butterfly like that before. Oh. Right, still looking for it, just concentrate. Yes, I've done that. Uh, repeat for the third line using just one square this time so get my ruler up by an inch pop that in the middle like so pin hmm. gosh what a gorgeous butterfly pin I'm going to stitch that as well stitch 
that one. I don't think Netflix documentaries are going to be calling anytime soon about my photography, are they? <laughs> soon the butterfly drifted away. Oh, I'm sorry. I've gone and I haven't taken you with me. Uh, right, press. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. Right, next one. I've got to concentrate now because we've got to do this properly. For the final square, fold in half. So we're going to fold along that line. I love the line going on the inside fold okay fold that in half um draw a line from point to point so we're going to draw a line oh point down to the fold sorry that'll teach me for not reading draw a line can you see drawn a line point to fold yeah uh, fold the point of the previous square up to the bottom of the drawn line see next picture oh, i haven't put that on there so that sits on there nicely this comes up to here like so and fold the point of the previous see next picture yes i've done that i was questioning myself then i was thinking well i'm sure i've done that which i have now so down draw uh, sew down draw sew down this drawn line and catch the tip of the square below which is there so i've got to pin this into place I've got to pin it gang right here we go to the machine i was actually thrown then by that butterfly that was gorgeous I know you don't like bulk today, Bertha, but you've just got to do it and behave. And then when I go to this point, I know you can't see overly well, but it wants to lift up on me. So I'm just going to get a tool just to hold that down, a bulky sea made or whatever you've got, just to hold that down while it approaches the needle. And I just want to catch that. So I'll do a couple of stitches. There we go, that looks good. And I'll, all right, cut your thread, don't be naughty. Um, trim my thread off, trim, take you with me. <laughs> and then mum's actually um, zhuzhed these open a bit. So give them a little bit of a zhuzh, like this. Do you see, gives it a little bit of dimension, doesn't it? I love that it's gorgeous i know it's upside down to you but you know whatever uh so we're going to pop a bow on the top here so i've got two strands of ribbon and you can use your glue gun or you can pop a couple of stitches in i'm actually going to pop a couple of stitches in that'll save me uh with all the excitement of the live this evening i probably burn myself so i'm just making a bow which is relatively okay, bow like. It's very long. I'll chop them a bit. I'll give it a bit of a haircut. There we go. Actually, it's very apt. I'm using my candy cane scissors. Uh, so this goes on the top here, and I'm just going to pop a couple of stitches in. You can hand stitch this, but I'm just going to be a bit naughty and take it to the machine. And just pop a couple. Pop a couple. <laughs> pop a couple of stitches in my um, machine hates me today it's being very naughty that'll do that'll probably stay who's to say but if you want to make sure sure stays do it properly okay here we go back you come so this is what we've got oh, i need to 
sort that thread out. And we're going to br turn this over and we're going to bring this up. So that six inch line from the top we drew, that's our baseline. Do you see? There we go. And then we're going to stitch along these two sides. So if I turn that round to you so you can see. Make it a bit neater. So I folded it up and then I'm going to stitch up these two sides. And then it's done. And it's not been too warm in here after all. So that's always a bit of a winner, isn't it? Try not to catch the tail of my ribbon as I go. And the other side. And then of course you can press these to get rid of these lines. This machine really isn't liking layers today. It normally just whizzes through them. So I think a nice needle change, a good clean out tomorrow. She'll be right as rain. Bit of oil, should be fine. She's such a wonderful machine. You might wonder why I'm calling her her, because her name's Bertha. That's why. Right, there we go. Isn't that absolutely delightful? Can you even see? So you can put your candy canes in there. You can you could put tree presents. Does anyone do tree presents? I mean, we don't, but um, we know people that do pop presents on the tree. Um, so you could pop your tree presents. You could put numbers on for an advent calendar. I mean, there's so much you could do with this. I personally think that it would be lovely as a little gift bag, but I like them like this. I quite like them, you know, poking up a little bit. Right, let me move you up. Actually, I've got no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna move you up and see half an eyeball. Um, yes, half an eyeball. I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> I, I'm sideways to me. I'm very zoomed in. So if you can see me, Hold on, I've just got to look. Hold on, I'll move my chair down a bit. Oop. There, is that better? Anyway, this is Mim. What number? A26. Tremendous. It's only a pound on the website, lizzycurtis.com. Go ahead. Oh, hold on, I'll show you both. Get your Tremendous. There they are. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> There they are, tremendous. Gorgeous, aren't they? So I'd love to see you making some of those. 